Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Bungie Portals onto your Minecraft server. So, what is Bungie Portals? Bungie Portals is basically a plugin that allows you to set up portals that can transfer you to all the servers within your network. So if I just do a quick demonstration of this, so here I've set up a portal on my lobby server which will transfer me to my faction server when I walk into it. So when I walk into this, it will transfer me to the faction server. So it's really that simple. So if I just head back to the lobby server, and then here you can see I'm back to that. So it's really simple to set up. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you're running a Bungie Core network. We already have a tutorial on this on the channel, so make sure you go watch that if you haven't done this already, as I won't be covering it in this tutorial. So once you have that set up, you'll need to install the Bungie Portals plugin on your hub server. So in this case, mine is the Bungie 1001 server, so I'm going to go to the control panel for that. And then we're going to need to download the Bungie Portals plugin onto our computer. So if I just open a new tab and search for Bungie Portals, and it should be the first thing that comes up for the spigotmc.org website. So if we open that, then download it here. Save it to our downloads directory. And then head back to the server. Go to the file manager. Plugins. Upload file. Choose file. And then select Bungie Portals. And click open. And then upload from computer. And you'll also need to install the World Edit plugin and the World Guard plugin. So you can actually do these within the Plugins tab. So under the Bucket plugins, search for World Edit, Install Latest, and then you'll also need to search for World Guard, and then Install Latest. So once you've installed all three plugins, Bungie Portals, World Edit, and World Guard, restart the server. World Edit and World Guard are needed for the installation as they provide features which Bungie Portal needs to work correctly. So once you've done that, you can go to the console tab and then you can wait for your server to start up. So once your server has started up correctly, you should see a message that says done. And this usually means that it started up without any problems. So now we can go ahead and join the server and start setting up the Bungie Portals. So now that I've installed the three plugins, Bungie Portals, World Edit and World Guard, we can check that they're actually working in game. So if you type slash plugins, you can see here that they are working as World Edit, World Guard and Bungie Portals are green, which usually means they're functioning correctly. We can further verify this by typing slash B portals, and this will bring up all the commands available for the B portals plugin. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and start setting up the portals. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we want to do is finish off building our portals. So as you can see here, this portal has a water that's not moving. So to do this, you can't just place water because it will flow everywhere like this and cause a mess. So let me just tidy this up. So now that we've fixed that mess, we need to make it so that water doesn't flow. So if you type a slash stop lag, this is part of the World Guard plugin and it will prevent water from moving. So now we'll be able to build the portal like this and the water won't flow. So now that we've finished um, filling up all our portals, we can type slash stop lag minus C and this will allow the portals to start moving again. So now that we've got the portal set up using the stop lag feature from World Guard, we can begin setting them up. So type slash slash wand, and this is a part of the world edit plugin, and it will allow us to select the region that we want to become a portal. So in this case, I'm gonna set up the survival server portal. So if we select the bottom left-hand side of the portal down here with a left click, so left click that block, and then select the top right block with the right click, and these will set the first and second positions. So this basically means every block between this is selected between these two points. So all this water here, so after you've done that, you want to type slash B portals, select, and then we've used water. So you need to type the item ID. So in this case, it's nine. But if you use another block, you'll need to type the ID for that block. So this will select all the water blocks and it will disregard the wooden blocks that we've also selected within this region. So now that you've typed that, you can type slash B portals, create, and then the name of the server that we're going to. So we're going to the survival server with this portal. So if we type, type survival, and then when we walk through this portal now, it should take us to the survival server. So as you can see now, I'm now on my survival server. So if we just go back to the lobby server, 
and then we can do the same thing for the faction server so i'm just going to go ahead and do that so now that we've set up the portals for both of our servers we're effectively done so what you want to do next is type slash b portals and then type slash b portals force save and this just ensures that all the portals that you've created are saved to the file because if your server unexpectedly crashes and it doesn't save everything properly you'll lose those portals as they won't be saved to the configuration so now that we've done that you basically set up and you can remove portals again um, with B portals remove and then the name. So if I wanted to remove the survival server one, you type survival. And then that will remove that portal so I no longer be able to go through it. And then again, you'll want to do the force save to save the changes that you've just made. Otherwise, they won't be saved. So that's how you set up B portals on your Bungie network on your lobby server. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.